Hello and welcome to the School Home Connection. I'm Nathan and my goal is to empower you the parents with the knowledge, the strategies, and the goals to support your child academically, socially, and emotionally. Today we're going to talk about the second stage in learning to read and write. That is decoding and encoding. Decoding is where you see a word and you break it apart into its individual sounds, then put it back together to read the word. For example, the word cat. You break it down into k, a, t, and then you put it back together and blend the sounds to make the word cat. And encoding is the process we use for writing. It's where we hear a word and then we break it apart into its individual sounds so that we could write each sound out. Say you hear the word sit, you break it apart into s, i, t, and then you write the individual letters, s, i, t. So why is this skill important? Decoding and encoding is where we make meaning from words. At this stage, a child is truly reading and writing. A child can gain information by reading texts or they can give information through their writing. So now we're going to talk about how to teach this skill. And since this is a language-based skill, we're going to make sure that we follow the language progression. That is starting with listening and then speaking and then reading and then writing. Children will first need to listen and see someone who is breaking words down and putting them back together. When teaching your child the skill, it's good to give a mix between that breaking written words down apart and putting them back together, that decoding, and hearing a word and breaking it into the individual sounds, that encoding. For example, say you're reading with your child and you see the word dog. Model how you're going to look at each individual letter and sound it out. D -a -g. and then show how we can push those letters together and blend the sounds to make a word D -a -g, dog and then also model how we can take words that we hear say the word sat and then we can break it apart into its individual sounds s -a -t, and then write those sounds out with each letter that we hear during this time, it can be really helpful to use things like magnetic letters or a dry erase board to help give a visual for your child. The next step would be speaking. This is where children are going to start to break apart words that they hear into the individual sounds. For example, given the word nap, the goal is for the child to be able to break it apart into its individual sounds, that n, a, p. Once your child is confident in the skill, Work with them to help them learn how to manipulate and change sounds. For example, if you have the word dog, ask them what would happen if we change the d to a l. It would change to log. A great song for teaching this skill is the song Apples and Bananas. It's a silly song where every time you sing through it, you change the vowel sound in the words apples and bananas. So it starts with apples and bananas, but then you change it to a long A sound and it becomes apples and bananas. Or you change it to a long O sound and it becomes opals and bononos, and so on. The next stage is reading. Once a child has a solid understanding that words can be broken down and put back together, this is when they're ready to start actually decoding words. Decoding is what allows children to gain meaning from written words. A great place to start is words that have short vowel sounds. A lot of times at school, we start with CVC words, which means consonant vowel consonant. Think of words like cut and cat and pit and sit. Identify these kinds of words in books that you read with your child or signs that you see out in public or any other words that you see on your day-to-day -day basis and encourage them to look at each individual letter to sound it out and then blend it together to make the word. A great book series for this skill is the Bob books. I'll show a picture right here of the one I would recommend getting for beginning to teach decoding skills. The beginner reader pack slowly adds in more and more letters into those short vowel words for your child to learn how to decode, but also to learn phonics skills. Once a child has a solid grasp of all the letters and letter sounds, and they're able to start decoding words, it's great to start introducing phonics rules. The final step is writing. This is where children are creating meaning through written language. 
My recommendation for starting this would be to use physical letters so that children can manipulate and move around the letters. This could be using magnetic letters, letter blocks, or even building the letters out of Play-Doh. Once a child has confidence in building letters and moving and manipulating and changing sounds, then give them a pencil and have them start to write those letters out. Create simple stories where they're driven by the pictures and supported by the words. During this time, it'll be very helpful to have your child use what we call inventive spelling. This is a support that we use at school for children to write out the sounds that they hear. It's not necessarily about the phonics rules, but it's about the sounds that they hear in the words. For example, if your child has yet to learn that E at the end of a word can make the vowel long, then let them write words like fine, which is F-I-N-E, let them write it F-I-N. As your child learns new phonics rules, have them apply that in their writing, slowly removing that support of inventive spelling as they become more competent. So now some goals for you, the parent, to make sure that you're on track as you're supporting your child in learning, decoding, and encoding. Goal number one is to be intentional. There are learning opportunities everywhere. Start very casual. Have conversations with your child about words that you see around you and how they're going to discover this world of reading as they grow older. Finding words when you're reading together or going shopping or just out and about will help make the learning meaningful. Your child will see that the world is full of words waiting for them to unlock their meaning. Goal number two is to be encouraging. This is not an easy skill for children to learn at first. Make sure to give lots of praise when your child is working hard or they're able to sound out parts of a word or a whole word. Act as both their number one fan and their guide. When your child makes mistakes, be encouraging in your support and correction. All of this is to help your child build confidence in the skill. And goal number three is for quality over quantity. Learning should be fun. Reading and writing is a skill that children can learn to love. It unlocks a world of stories and information. Have reading be a part of your weekly or daily schedule and make sure it's something that you do together as a family. Don't feel the need to overdo it. Look for quality time where both you and your child are enjoying the process of reading and writing. Decoding and encoding is how we take combinations of letters and make meaning. As you work with your child, Remember to move through that progression of listening, speaking, reading, then writing. I hope you're able to walk away with some knowledge, some strategies, and some goals to help support your child as they learn to decode and encode words. As your child develops this skill and begins to read more and more, they'll start to come across trickier and trickier words. This is a great place to start working on stage three, phonics rules. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, it would help me out a lot to leave a like below and make sure to subscribe so that you can stay up to date with School Home Connection videos as they come out every single week. If you have a question about this video or an idea for a future video, leave it in the comments. I'm going to read through all the comments and reply to as many as I can. Thank you again for watching this video. Keep learning, keep growing, bye.